Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, we will learn how to display the MySQL data on JTable in Java programming language. For here, you can see we have a MySQL workbench. Inside it, we have created a employee table that contains this data. And we have to display this data on a JTable using a Java program. So how will you fetch this MySQL data and display on a JTable using a Java programming language you will learn in today's session. So let us move to the Eclipse ID and understand how to create a JTable in order to access this MySQL database. So here, this is a MySQL, this is a Eclipse IDE and where we have created a class fetch MySQL data on JTable. We have set up a frame in order to save time. We have created a table default table model that construct a default table model with zero columns and zero rows. So using some methods of a default table model, you can add some columns inside it or you can add some data inside it. So here we are adding four different columns, employee ID, name, birth date, and salary. So make sure your column number and name, column numbers, not name, these must be same equal to your database right so inside your mysql data table we have four different columns employee id name birth date and salary in the similar way you must have four different columns we are creating a jtable instance and we are adding this jtable instance into a j scroll pane in order to create a scroll bar right and we are making this frame as visible so let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it so here we go. You can see this is a blank J table that contains four different columns, but it is not fetching any data from MySQL database. So here you can see this is your blank J table that contains four different columns with matching with these four columns, right? So let us learn how to connect this J table with MySQL database in order to fetch this data right so let me just close it i will close this part also so here let us move back to your eclipse id and let us write a code so how will you connect your java program with your mysql database you will use a jdbc concept java database connectivity that help to connect help to connect to my SQL database, right? So here you will write the JDBC steps and you know very well what are the JDBC steps in order to connect your Java program with your MySQL database. So in order to save time, I have, I have created a function, the create connection method that will help us to create a connection and do some configuration settings. So this method is or this method name is a create connection its return type is a connection so it will return the object of a connection interface this method is static so you can call this method without creating an instance of a class so what we are doing it we are just doing we are just setting some configuration information of your connections in order to connect your java program with mysql database so this is your Connector here you can see the com.mysql.cj.jdbc driver. This is the way how to load a driver. Then you are making a connection URL string. Inside it, we are using our database name jcodebook. So you have to create a jcodebook database in MySQL server. This is the username of MySQL and this is the password of MySQL workbench. Right? So before going further, let us first set up the database. Let us create a table inside the database. So let us move to the MySQL workbench. Okay. So here inside it, I have already created an employee table or it also con contains some data. So let me just drop this table and I will help you to create this table from scratch. So this table is removed. So I will just close these scripts. Here you can see this is a SQL queries in order to create a employee table and in order to insert some data inside this employee table. So let us execute all these queries together. 
So let me just run it and execute it. So here you will refresh your schema inside a table. We have an employee table that contains four different columns. So let us let's see the data inserted or not. So here we go. You can see the data is inserted. So today's our objective is to fetch this data into a J table using a Java program. Okay. So how to fetch the data? So simply you will write a query for then string SQL is equal. So what is the query in order to fetch the complete data? You will use a select query. So here you will use select star from your table name that is employee, right? So this is the name of a table. So we are trying to fetch the complete data from an employee table. This employee table is present inside the jcodebook database. You can see in my SQL workbench, right? So this is your database name, jcodebook. Inside it, we have employee table that contains this complete data. So let us move back to Eclipse. So after this, let us set up a connection or execute your query. So I will use a try with a resource concept that will help us to release all the resources automatically. So let us call this method create connection. So you can call this method directly. It will return into an object of a connection interface. So how will you call it? You will simply use connection. Connection is equal get connection, right? So here you will not get connection. This is a create connection. This is a method we have created. After set up a connection, what is the next step? You know very well, we have to create an object of statement interface. So simply you will write statement is equal connection dot create statement. After creating the statement, we have to execute our query. So query name is the select star from employee. So simply you will use a method execute query method. So here inside it, you will pass your query or it will return into an object of a result set, right? So here you will write result set, result set is equal statement dot execute query. So now you will start the body of your try block. So inside these, it will throw some exception of type SQL exception. So in order to manage this exception, you can add a catch corresponding to a try. So this is a catch corresponding to a try. So what is the next step? You know very well, in order to fetch the data from an employee table, we are using this execute query method. So complete data grid, complete tabular data will be present inside a result set. And we have to scan each row and we have to display a data of each column. So how will you iterate over each row? Simply you will use a while loop or here you will use a method of result set interface that is a next method that will iterate over each row and will return true until your records will be exist inside a data table. So here, this is the next method that move your cursor forward one row from the current position. So how to just get it, how to get the data, let us move to the SQL data table. So here we have four different columns of different data types. Employee column is the first column index number is one, name is index number two and so on. Employee column data type is the integer. So how will you get this value from the row one? So simply you will use the result set dot get int method or inside it you will pass your index number one. So to get the value of first column, you will pass the index number one or it will return into an object of integer int id is equal result set dot get int in the similar way you can get the name of an employee that is name is equal result set dot get string it here the name column is of index two after this you will get the birth date that is birthday right so here you will write is equal result set dot get date and you will pass the index number is three and after this, you will get the last column value that is a salary. So salary is of a decimal type, right? So here, so here you will create an object, double 
for no need to write the wrapper class simply you can use double salary is equal result set dot get double inside it you will pass the column index number four so here now for a particular row we have fetch all the data now what is the next task next task is add this data to a j table j table row right so how to add this data to a j table row simply you will use a method of a default table model so you can here you can see we have created a blank table that contains four different columns but data were not added previously because data will come from the mysql data table so you will use the instance of this default table model model and you will just use a method add row in order to add some data so inside it you will create an array of an object class so why we are creating an array of object class in order to store the data of multiple data types so here we can see we have different data types so object is a class that can hold the data of multiple data types so here simply you will use the add id name birth date and a salary right so now this will add the complete data so this is a name string so i will remove this this is a name so this add row method will add a particular data inside a j table row so we have completed our program so i think let us run this program and you will see what is the output of it right click on it and let's run and here we go you can see it is showing the complete data from your mysql database you can move here and you can match the data right so it is showing the complete data in a j table and this is a way guys how to fetch your mysql data inside a j table using a java program so let me close it and let me help you to add more data inside this table so you will just execute this query once more it will add more data inside your employee table let us see the data is added or not so here you will see the id will be created automatically and data is added right data is added so if you will go to the eclipse program and you will run it again so it will again it will show the updated data inside it okay it will show the updated data if you will go again inside my sql or you will add more data inside it you will execute this query multiple times so it will add so i executed two times why i just executed to insert multiple or more data inside this table so you can see multiple data that is 20 records has been inserted you will go to the eclipse id and let us run it and you will see what is the output of it you can see the data is added along with the scroll bar here you can see the scroll bar is added so this scroll bar is added inside your j table so let me just close it and why this scroll bar is added because we have added a scroll pane or inside it we have added a your j table so guys this is a way how to connect your java program with your mysql database in order to fetch the complete data inside a j table let me show you the code once again what we have done so this is the complete code we have set up the frame set up the default table model this is a j table code this is the code how to connect uh, the program with your database jdbc steps and here we are making your frame visible and this is a method in order to set up your connections and this is the output guys so i hope guys you understand this concept very well so thanks for watching bye bye for now have a great day we'll see you in the next class